Hello everyone, I am Colleen Elizabeth Miller, the producer, director, writer, and actor in Dolos. My love for horror actually began when I was, I think, five or six, and uh, Tales from the Dark Side was premiering on TV, and I snuck downstairs after I was supposed to be asleep already when my parents were watching it, and watched the whole thing from around the corner. Uh, the part that really got me was when the cat jumped down the guy's throat and ate him from the inside out. After that, I was hooked. So I actually decided to become a filmmaker because I wanted to give myself more opportunities to act and create that I wasn't getting from other people. So I started making my own short films so that I could be in them and play the kind of characters that I wanted to play. I came up with the idea for Dolos because I'd always wanted to play a character from medieval times, a uh, period piece. So it started off with the character in mind that I wanted to play. And my hair obviously alludes that uh, Queen Elizabeth for the character, and she isn't exactly Queen Elizabeth, obviously, but uh, she's pretty close and I'd say has bits and pieces of her in it. But the story is obviously fiction. So I wrote it uh, with that in mind, and I actually wrote the whole script in, I think, three hours just sitting there. I knew I wanted it to be dark and demented and have the characteristics of torture from back then. So I came up with a little gruesome plot and uh, had a lot of fun writing the uh, period dialogue. I would say the most challenging thing about filming my own projects is because they're so uh, low budget and independent is uh, getting everyone's schedules aligned. Uh, you know, if uh, you can't pay people a lot of money that you have to kind of be at their beck and call. So that was the main struggle I came up with was getting everybody on board for this same date. Uh, the most rewarding part is the finished product. Um, being an actor, you know, like I've done theater and I've done film and I, I've kind of decided that I like film better. And for one of the reasons is because you get this final product that you get to like keep forever. Uh, so I just love that I have this thing that I did all these different aspects on you know the directing the writing I did the costuming some of them have special effects makeup that I did uh Dolos I did not do the special effects makeup it's very talented uh Eric Bryson uh but uh yeah so just getting to do all these different areas of creativity and being able to put them together and having this thing that you get to keep forever and you can go back and look at it I just love that so my current favorite horror movies well my favorite horror movie of all time, and will probably never not be, is Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Uh, I love clowns, I love camp, and I I love the soundtrack. I just, I just love everything about that movie. It's so great, and like the clowns themselves are so amazing looking, the puppeteers who created them, and I mean, it's just so awesome. But I do realize that it is campy. So as far as legit horror movies that scare me, uh, I'm very much scared by the ones that uh, could happen in real life. So Fire in the Sky is one of my all-time top scariest movies about an alien abduction. And um, there's also another film that I saw a couple of years ago that's older not old, old, but uh, called Eden Lake. And it actually has Michael Fassbender in it from his early career. And it's, for lack of a better, for not going into too much detail, it's simply a couple that goes out camping and some bad people happen to them, we'll just say. But the way that it happens, I don't know. It just really felt so real and uh, it scared the hell out of me. So I recommend that one. Those are the top two I can think of that stick with me. 
Well, thanks for watching. I appreciate it and very excited to have Dolos in the Sarah of Horror Film Festival.